half the people in this audience don't know what in the hell I do. They have no, absolutely no clue what I do. And that's just fine with me, actually. Uh, I can sit over here and when, you know, Delbert dips up in the 12th rows yelling at me, turn up the guitar, turn up the bass, turn down the vocal, whatever it is, I can just look at him and yell, hey, that's not me, I'm doing something completely different. But because I have an audio console in front of me, he thinks I have something to do with it, when I don't. My one guy that, that, that on this tour has been a little more um, particular is, uh, is, is Alex and, and his guitar levels. Uh, not good, not bad, not indifferent, just they change based on the room, how much reverberation is in the room. A really reverberant room with a tin roof and it's really hard to get that guitar to cut through. A really tight sounding, non-reverberant building and it's very easy to get the guitar to cut through. Plastic seats versus wooden seats versus cloth seats versus vinyl covered seats. How many people? Here's a big weird one. You go into a, uh, uh, a room this size, if it's winter, the room sucks up more when there's people in than it does in summer with people in. And everybody goes, oh, that makes no sense. Everybody wears long sleeves in the winter. More people wear hats in the winter. Skin is actually quite reflective. Cloth is not. So the guys like having the best equipment and they allow me to make the choices that I think are the best for them to, to use. The strange thing about roadiedom, about being a roadie, is nowadays it's a lot easier to do it later into your years. I mean, CB is well into his 50s and George is in his 50s. So we've got some guys that are into their 50s and I don't want to grow old and die on the road. But it's kind of something that gets into you. The idea of working a nine to five job uh, would involve me going to prison for murder because I just don't, I can't do it. I've tried and I just don't like it. I, li I dislike it so much I won't do it. We are putting uh, pink noise through the PA, which is basically random signal that is equal energy at all frequencies. And what we're reading, what it's measuring through the computer is the response we're getting out of the PA, which of course in a perfect world would be equal energy at all frequencies. It's, it's not, but we get it, so we make some adjustments and try to look at this uh, graph and get out the stuff that's really kind of